welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I was so excited to play with color and I was really inspired by a photo that Alyssa Marie Artistry on Instagram put on her page. I will link her down below but she did this really like smoky yellow look. It just inspired me to use that color and I loved it. It was beautiful. So I wanted to pair that look with a bold lip. Somehow even though this look is a little over the top because it's a cut crease and it's yellow and then there's a bright lip but somehow everything combined looks really fresh to me and still very wearable. I love how it turned out. It's actually one of my favorite makeup looks that I've done, so I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start by applying an under eye cream to my eyes. That way while I do the rest of my makeup, it just kinda soaks in and refreshes the under eye area. This is the Organic Surge Daily Care Reviving Eye Gel. I'm gonna prime my skin using the Embryolis. Embry, Embryolis. I'm gonna use the Embryolis. This is the cream concentrate. This is super popular in the makeup artist community. Oh God, a lot of people use this. I don't think I've ever actually used this. This is my first time. It came in the Ipsy Glam Bag this month, but I know in the, the professional makeup artist world, this is like the number one skin primer. This is a moisturizer and it primes your face for makeup as well. So today I filled in my brows using the Benefit Cabrow and this is just a 24 hour waterproof. It's like a gel brow cream. To prime my lids, I'll be using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Still till this day my favorite eye primer, and this is the Luxie 182 brush. This is in collaboration with JD Weighty 180. So you just wanna put a light layer of this all over the lid up to the brow bone. Next, I'm just gonna take the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is just the pressed powder on a Sedona Lace EB13 brush. I'm gonna set the eyeshadow base with this. I usually use MAC Blanc Tie, but you guys all know what happened to that. And I just set it all the way down to my crease. Next, I'm highlighting my brow bone, and this is the shade Classic. It's from the Rust Stack from Melt Cosmetics. These little stacks are so cool. Mine's all dirty because I've been using it a lot. All the eyeshadows are like, oh my god, it's so dirty. Oh my god. I don't know how that happened. I never know how this happens. I'm just gonna take that and pack it onto the brow bone. It's just gonna lift our brow bone and give everything a nice, cleaner, crisp feel. I'm pretty much using all of the um, eyeshadows from the Rust Stack except for the lid color. So uh, the next one we're gonna use is Antique Eyeshadow. I'm gonna use a Luxie 231 brush, which is this really nice, small blending brush. So I'm gonna try to get the shape that I'm going for. I'm just gonna kind of do a straight line across. I like these peachy orange colors as a first shade to lay down to really map out everything and then just be the lightest shade that connects to the brow bone highlight before I go in with anything super dark. It's very forgiving and you can get a feel of where the rest of your eyeshadow is gonna get placed. I'm just gonna do that for now and if we need to use that color later to blend it out, we will. Next, I'm gonna use this shade which is Rubbish. I love this shade, it's really, really nice. It's like a mustardy brown, it's like yellow undertones. I'm gonna be using the Pencil Brush by Dose of Colors. I'm going to try to really map out the shape now. This is such a nice brush, it's one of my favorites. So I'm starting with this hollow of my eye first and then I'm going to bring it out and elongate the crease towards this outer corner. These colors are still fairly light, so like I said, very forgiving. And I have the Luxie blending brush close by with the first shade we used just to blend it out and keep it soft for now. You're just gonna wanna take that rubbish color and continue to build on your shape. This is still not the darkest color we're gonna use in the crease, so feel free to bring it up a little higher than the line you just made as your crease shape. So if I made the crease shape here, feel free to kind of blend it upwards just a little bit more. Because ideally what you want is the first color you put on to peek out first, then this rubbish shade, and then the darkest shade will be just in the crease so that you have a nice gradient. Okay, so next we're gonna use Rust, and this color is one of my favorites. Oh, it's everything. I'm gonna take that with a Luxie 215 small angled brush to get me a nice precise line because we're gonna start to really define this crease. Make it out, bitch. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start with this outer corner and define the very lowest part of the crease. It's fine if you mess up because we're gonna put a whole base on the lid and you could just cut the crease even more. So I'm making kind of a harsh line and then I'm taking my Dose of Colors pencil brush and then blending the edges of that out. So then once you build up this shadow, whatever's left over on the brush, 
curve and flick upwards. Then you're gonna get that kind of wing effect. I always go back in afterwards just to smooth out those edges. You gotta smooth out those edges. Now it's time for the lid color. I'm using the Waterproof Cream Color by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Yellow. Just gonna apply that with a Sigma, ooh, cream color brush. How fitting, because this is called cream color. Cream color brush. This part's gonna be a little tricky. I'm kind of nervous to use this product. I feel it can get really crazy real quick, so go in with caution. I'm just gonna start on this outer corner here and apply a light layer. I'm really close to my mirror right now because I'm trying to make sure not to mess up my crease. I'm applying a light layer and then take the brush as if you're applying a winged liner and flick it up to meet the tail of the shadow here. I actually think I'm gonna need a smaller angled brush real quick. I'm not trying to get caught up. Let's see. This one? So I'm gonna take the Delium Tool 736 brush because it's a little bit more dense, so it's gonna give a nice hard line. And I'm just gonna hug the bottom of the crease and flick outwards. I'm actually uh, dipping some Inglot Duraline into the pot of yellow liner because I find that this cream color is a little bit drying. So in order to kind of make it more fluid, I use the Duraline by Inglot. If you guys haven't tried that for any of your gel liners, it's amazing. Ooh, that wing's so sharp. It's so sharp. To set that cream color, I'm going into the Radioactive Melt Stack. This one is the one with all the bright colors. And I'm gonna take Neon, which is this bright yellow, and I'm gonna pack that on to the lid right over the yellow base. This reminds me of Beyonce. Should I name this tutorial Lemonade? Limonada. There is a little bit of fallout so uh, with these shadows, but I did save my face makeup for last because I know that when you do a more dramatic look with brighter colors, it's just safe my face makeup last. So I'm taking an angled brush now to set the wing as well. That way we have a more precise application with the shadow. Normally I would do a winged liner with this type of eye look, but I want the focus just to be on the yellow. So I'm just gonna go straight into mascara. This is the NARS Audacious Mascara. Just give my little baby lashes a nice coat. I forgot to tell you guys about this eyelash curler. I forgot to put it in my favorites video and I was so mad because I was like, I know I was missing something. This eyelash curler is the best eyelash curler ever. Coming from somebody with no eyelashes, like baby lashes, this actually makes it look like I have some lashes when I wear mascara. How does he say it, babe? Surat? Surat. Surat? Surat. I got it at Sephora. Um, the girl was really nice at Sephora. She told me like, you have to get this eyelash curler. It's the best. I wasn't gonna get another one, but that blew every eyelash curler that I've ever used out of the water. Literally, life-changing. Just taking a nice light coat of mascara on my lashes because I have all that yellow eyeshadow fallout on them too. Because we're not using a winged liner, I wanna use a dramatic lash. I'm gonna use House of Lashes Iconics and try to get as close to the lash line as possible. Of course, if you have trouble hiding your lash band, you could apply a thin layer of black liner just to the lash line if you want. All right, so moving on to the face and then I'll finish off the eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. So I'm gonna try this. I know it does oxidize when you apply it to the skin, so it looks a little bit light at first, but it might work for me, it might not, so we'll see. This is a new foundation. It looks so light compared to my skin on my hand. Let's just give it a go, see what happens. So this is a new foundation by Urban Decay and it is extra matte, full coverage. I don't know if it's gonna work for my color, but the formula seems really nice. I'm just gonna hope that it, it oxidizes to my skin tone. And if not, I'll warm it up with some bronzer. This is shade 07, so I think I might need depending on how much it changes right now, like one or two shades darker. Dang, I barely used any and I feel like it's already covered so much of my face. This is an extra matte foundation. God, that was a tiny little pump and that pretty much covered my whole face except my forehead, so. 
Just gonna get one more pump out of here. Look at this packaging. Swing. This foundation is like crazy. It literally covers every imperfection. I'm gonna go to the mall after this. Looking snatched. AF. I saw Tenny use this as concealer actually. And it like covered so well as concealer. I bet you if I kept one of those lighter ones, it would work bomb as a concealer. You know, I imagine to anyone out there who has freckles, I get that I don't have freckles, so I don't know what it's like. You know, I know it's different when you have something that um, other people want, but you don't necessarily like it. I love how freckles look on people. I think they're so beautiful. But you know what? I've heard people say like that they're not in love with their freckles. And if you're looking for a foundation that would cover that or any like discoloration, even if it's not freckles, maybe if you have like acne scars, honestly, this, this is like probably the most full coverage foundation I've ever tried in my life. Even more so than Estee Lauder Double Wear, which covers everything. And it's like super matte. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. And this is in the shade Medium Golden. So I'm gonna take this concealer and just apply it to the hollows of my eyes right here. And I'm using a Morphe E27 brush for this. Dude, this foundation is like, I can't stop staring at it. Then I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the new concealer. This is actually my first time trying it. I haven't yet tried it. So I'm just gonna dab that on to kind of highlight. I've heard so many good things about this concealer. So I'm gonna test it today. Katie said, she said she liked it more than the NARS. I was like, I need to try that to see if that's the same situation for me. But I don't know, you guys know I love my NARS too, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the outer edge here too to sharpen up this wing and clean up just in case there's any like, you know, eyeshadow tends to build up over here from the blending. I don't know if I mentioned, I used the Shape Tape in the shade Medium. Now I'm gonna set my concealer using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I just dip my Beauty Blender straight into the powder and then apply it to the under eyes. And then down the center of the nose. All right, so just let it sit for a second and then dust it away. I'm definitely not setting the rest of my face with this foundation because it's so matte. It literally doesn't need to be set. I'm about to go to that Victoria's Secret panty sale snatched. My face is gonna be done up. I'm probably gonna be in sweatpants. Going into this bronzer, this is the Estee Edit, the barest bronzer with a Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. Apply this to the cheekbones. This bronzer is like a little bit more warm toned. It's a little bit peachy, I think I would say. It has a little bit of a red undertone opposed to like a more orange undertone. All right, and then for blush, I'm gonna be using the new Air Blush. This is the Kink and Kisses shade by Marc Jacobs. Looks like this. Apply it right about here and blend it into that bronzer. I wanna give like a nice fresh look with this blush. I wouldn't recommend baking with this foundation actually cause it's just so matte. If you bake it like kind of sucks you in, like sucks you in, dries up, like tightens the skin. Tightens, there you go. I don't even think you need concealer with this foundation to be honest. So my highlight, I'm gonna be going into the Jaclyn Hill Becca Highlighting Palette. Because I wanna keep with the fresh look, I am gonna use Champagne Pop to keep with that nice, like, girly blush that we applied. Yes, girl. Put some on the lips, put a little bit on the nose. I'm gonna use this Fiona Styles Medium Dark Sculpting Palette. I like the colors in here because they're really ashy, they're not super warm, so I like to use these to contour my nose. So I'm just taking a little bit of that and just going up sides down here and then right here finishing off the eyes I'm going back into the shade rubbish this is just the lightest brown and I'm gonna lightly shadow my lower lash line but not too much because I kind of like the look of it looking softer and a little bit more bare. Originally, I was gonna really smoke out the lower lash line and make it all crazy, but I think it looks fresh without anything too much down here, so it's just gonna be a nice little shadow. Yeah, I like that. For the waterline, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Cream Color Liner, and this is in the shade Punch. Make the sexy waterline face. 
and then apply some lower lash mascara. Load up on the lower lash mascara. So we're done with the eye makeup. For the lips, you could either go nude, which is the safe choice, which, you know, I really wanted to go nude, but I'm not gonna go, I really wanted to go nude. That sounds bad. I wanted to do nude lips, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna brighten the look up even more with like a, you know, getting ballsy. I'm gonna use the LA Girl Endless Lip Liner in the shade Pink Parfait. So now they're lined, I'm gonna use the Amore Matte Liquid Lipstick by Milani. This is like a interesting color. It's a cross between like a pink and a red and it's just beautiful. Ooh, that lip color though. Ooh, give it to me. I'm so happy I didn't go with nude. I just quickly wanted to accentuate the yellow liner and the waterline just a little bit. So I'm gonna use this Meet Matte Trimony. This is in the shade Matte Kumar. Place that right on the outer corner, right below the yellow. Now I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Setting Spray. Mm, wasn't that glamorous this time around. And then to really slick my baby hairs down, I'm gonna use this Eva NYC Get Glossed Hair Serum. It's gonna help with like frizzy pieces. It's good to put a lot of this serum when you want that slick back hair. See, now we're looking slick. Oof, that made my hair look really nice. Okay, one last thing I wanna do. I'm gonna get a little extra for my end shots. I'm gonna use this uh, Perfect Liquid Gold Illuminating Perfector. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Everyone always says my uh, shoulders highlight. I always use like highlighting lotions. So when I do my end shots, bam, you gotta get that glow going. Don't forget your decollete. Get the weenus, get that weenus. All right, we are ready to slay the Victoria's Secret panty sale. That's where I'm going. All right guys, so that is it. This is the finished makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love, love how this makeup look turned out. Like it's one of my favorites. So I hope you guys liked it too. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you guys recreate it, don't forget to tag the photo with Desi Perkins on Instagram or send it to me on Twitter. I feel like I see everything on Twitter for the most part. I mean, I see pictures more often than any other platform. So Twitter and or send me your snaps and I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios. This is like about to just drip right out. Oh, there it goes. Shit. It's just Katie and I insulting each other. They call me mellow yellow. Fly with me, come fly. We're making moves. Like my sweatpants? Oh, oh. I'm smelling kind of funky. I don't, I don't know what I smell like. It's like weird, it's like baby powder on. Oh, oh.